Last, last week, somebody asked me a question. And it was, dun, dun, dun. They asked me publicly, what were some of my favorite acts at the open stage? They don't keep score here. Yeah, you got it just like I did. And it was easy because it's rote now. I don't even think about it. But I realized that's great if we're us. We're all together in this, and you know, we know what that means. We know that that's not a snarky thing to say. It's a reminder to be respectful of where everybody is in their process. And I realized I needed an opportunity to elaborate on that. And I thought, where could I possibly take a moment to get back in front of the person who asked me this question, who's not from around here, who hasn't been to this show, who wants to know more about it. And I thought, what if I had a place where I was streaming on the internet in front of all of my friends and getting on public record? There, I might be able to answer the question better. You see what I did there? Thank you. Very smart. I'm wise beyond my many, 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 many years. Years. But the que so I started thinking about the question, and first off, I have to give you a baseline on something. Contrary to a lot of people's opinion, I am not an evil eyebrow alien from planet Blex. <laughs> I am also not, as it's been suggested, a flesh golem animated by two psychic caterpillars. I know, your shock is awful. I am actually... <laughs> Yet he's telling the truth. Um... <laughs> But what I am is a human being, which means I have opinions, I have biases, I have preferences. In fact, I have this weird thing called a mood, which depending on how crappy my day was and whether or not I've eaten hummus before the show, even though I love all of you, I hate you sometimes. <laughs> and other times if I get my hummus before the show, like I always do, everybody's great. But the point is, it is a worthless metric of what is good around here to suggest what do I like. In fact, I have people who help me put together the show and we look at all the applications to make sure that my bias isn't overly in play. Because I don't want that. This is supposed to be so much bigger than any of us, right? Right. So, I'm still left with the question though. What are my favorite acts? And I thought about it and I think I finally come up with an answer. And so, this is really for you who asked me last week. If you could turn your head, which you can't right now because you're actually a camera, you would look in the shadows and at least one of the performers would be over there in the dark doing this. Even though it's not cold, they're shaking. Even though they know their lines backwards and forwards, they're still reciting them. They're preparing. They're going to walk any minute now. I'm going to say their name. They're going to walk through the dark and they're going to end up in front of these two gigantic steps, which I haven't had it confirmed but I'm fairly certain we're designed to make you feel small when you got up here. <laughs> the only time they didn't feel small to me is when I was either wearing clown shoes or stilts. And then you have to be elevated up in order to be heard and have these two terrible lights pointed at you. And you're up here with everybody waiting for you to open your chest, tear out your soul or your spirit, your creative spark, whatever semantically loaded thing you want to call it that allows you to call it that without getting in the way of the idea that they are giving you absolutely everything without hesitation. You know, when we're affected by something at home on TV, we can, we can hit pause. When we're watching dances with somebody else that dances, we can just <laughs> kind of pause and say, well, you know, that kind of got me. I think I'm going to go get some popcorn. The cool thing about the open stage is that it's live theater. And that means sometimes you guys out there pause and you're affected by something that happens up here. My favorite acts on the open stage are not always perfect. They're not always pretty. What they are is they're real and they're authentic and they're beautiful. And I hope when you're putting pen to paper regards to the conversation we had, you might look at this answer instead of that quickie fun, hey, this place is keen, and maybe see that answer because I'm doing a disservice to all of the geniuses who bear their souls up here each and every week. And I want them to be heard. And I want you to pause and realize that the only place on earth where it happens right now is the open stage. <laughs>